Good evening folks, how y'all doing today? Well, we're going to start on our dark water series. Uh, there will be several different baits that I paint in this dark water series for stained water and uh, they're all going to be dark with bright sides on them. This first bait we're going to be using a uh, apple barrel gloss black and we're going to be using a deco art metallic extreme sheen blue so uh, and then we're going to be using blue glitter blue. we're going to be using blue glitter but only on the back of the bait not on the sides and we're going to be using these pretty little stencils right here to work on our dark water series we'll have quite a few baits coming in to this series folks so uh, you know what let's just jump feet first first one we're going to be doing is we're going to paint that bait completely black and uh, run from there so let's stir this pretty little black paint up and do the old finger test on it yeah so, let's just wipe that off so we're going to be running about 20 pounds of pressure is what I'm running on this gun this afternoon. So uh, that's just boogie. We're going to put two coats of black on this bait and we'll heat set between each coat. Get a good cover coverage on it. Don't forget that nose folks. Okay let's heat set that. Alright she's a heat set there for the first coat. Let's just go ahead and get another one on it right quick. she is so while she's sitting there drying we're going to clean our brush and uh, then when we'll get done we'll heat set that and give it a few more minutes to dry and then we'll go on to our blue so we're going to give this thing about five minutes to dry real good and then we'll be right back and get the next cut very started. fond of these dark water baits for stained water I've fished a lot of stained water when I was young down in Texas so I have caught a lot of fish on baits like this. Well folks, we got this black all dried up on this lure. So we're gonna move on to our next color, which is our uh, Deco Art. And it's Extreme Sheen, and it's a Sapphire. Sapphire Blue. So, uh, let's get us a little bit. It don't take much of this. <clears throat> and then jump over here. Get us a little bit of thinner. Get old Bob to give us a stick here. Old Bob's a pretty good fish. He don't say much and he don't eat much. So I think that's what I like about Bob. So we kind of got our blue mixed up here. So let's do the old finger test on it. How about that? See it run down that finger? I don't know why I do that, folks, because I can usually tell just by sight, but it's all right. Might teach somebody else how to mix it. So let's put our stencil on. So folks, for the Halloween challenge, me against the wife, I've already got my stuff figured out. She gonna wish she had never challenged a redneck. So here we go, folks. Let's get our blue put on this lure through our stencil. Bet you folks didn't know I could switch hands and use either one, did you? So we got our blue run on there now. So let's pop this off and see what we got on the side of this bait. Oh, Lord of mercy, that's going to shine like a diamond, folks. 
I ain't going to finish the rest of that sentence, but that's going to be gorgeous for that dark water bait. So let's clean our stencils off. I always wipe my stencils down. Throw them over here to the side. And we'll heat set that blue. Get some eyes on there. And epoxy that boy, bad boy and be done. Let's uh, pull this tape off this bill. Then we'll get us some eyes. I think I'm going to put blue eyes on this just to keep going right with the theme that I got on it. Blue eyes will be pretty on this bait. Get all this uh, tape off of here. There we go. Got it off. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What do you think there, boss lady? like it. You like it? Oh, look at her. Look at that boy. My favorite color, of course I like it. I'm your favorite color. Redneck. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> she pleads the fifth, folks. Oh, just breaks my heart when women do that to me. So let's uh that's a one point five square bill we're using on this bait today. Uh 1cc and 1cc, 1cc of the epoxy, 1cc of the hardener. Perfect. So as long as you don't mix these together, it's when you mix them is when they start getting hard. As long as they're single, separate, I can let that sit there for 20, 30 minutes and still use it, folks. Okay. So let's get our old blue eye out here. get it put on there before I get in trouble which I can do that very easily folks so. well there's one blue eye stuck on there look at there looks nice can you see it can you see it probably not and there's our other blue eye let's look at this one and see where we put that we put it up top Well, there's both our blue eyes on there, folks. Our epoxy's half mixed. Let's put our weapon up. <clears throat> Reach in here. And get our other epoxy out right quick. Get our brush over here and be ready with our brush. Let's put our 1cc of the hardener in this epoxy. And we're only going to glitter the back. So we'll... Uh, Use the regular epoxy just on the sides and then I'm going to glitter the back on this bait, folks. Just to give it a little bit of pop. You know, it, I can't stress it enough to mix your epoxy to exact measurements. It just works so much better, folks, if you do that. Well, there's that. I already got me a stick over here. Thank you, Bob, for reminding me. Make your epoxy really, really well. Get that old stick over here. We ready to boogie, folks. Let's get our hemostats. Well, folks, I would put a watermark on this, but they do not show up on black lures. I'm getting some cut that are a white lure, or a white watermark, so when I get those done, we'll put one on some future lures. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the side and the belly on this lure. And then we'll add the glitter and do the top. There ain't nothing, no big thing at all. So. so 
going back over it, going back over it, going back over it. I do that a lot. Okay, now we've got the belly and the sides done. Let's just uh, put a little bit of blue glitter in here. It don't take much. Get our old stir stick over here. Kind of mix that blue glitter into that bait, into that epoxy for that bait. <clears throat> Let's just start going right down that back. Get right up in front of that nose. If you get a little bit down the side, folks, it don't matter. It's a project. It's going to hurt nothing to get just a hair down the side. Well, there we are, folks. One of my dark water baits. That's a black and a blue. Blue eyes. Uh, black glitter. Or blue glitter. On the top. So there's one of my dark water baits, folks. It's a nice bait. My wife likes that bait a lot. She likes it. She likes it a lot. Folks, she's been threatening me to get me a t-shirt that says I'd fish it. She's kind of laundry like that. Let's pull that off. The hemostats. Cut that nose and there we go. Dark water bait by Ugly Dog Lures.